move forward some 10 years later the filming of this video in 2021 and there are times where it looks like a head pasted on a body and the sound dubbing sounds like crud. Hi-ho everybody, it's the Gringo Scott here today and today we are bringing you another daily dose of movie reviews with life lessons. Today we are looking at the Captain America 2011 movie, Captain America The First Avenger. Be sure to subscribe for interesting movie themed activities and life lessons. Now, let's get started. Let's check out Captain America The First Avenger 2011, shall we? This general summary is from the internet. It is 1941 and the world is in the throes of war. Steve Rogers, played by Chris Evans, wants to do his part and join America's armed forces. But the military rejects him because of his small stature. Finally, Steve gets his chance when he is accepted into an experimental program that turns him into a super soldier called Captain America, joining forces with Bucky Barnes to help stop evil Hydra and their plans. Joining forces with Bucky Barnes. Oh boy, Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes is his friend that ends up joining the military too. They're good buddies or whatever, and they go do things together in the war. In this one, this is the first Captain America. This is where you find out who Captain America is. So it's a creation story. It lets you know where he came from, where he's going, his struggles. But it also introduces the Tesseract and the uh, Hydra. It introduces Hydra to us, which is an evil organization that's working for the Nazis, apparently. They might be Nazis, I guess. And that's the basic setup of this movie. What's the deeper me in this one? This one I saw. Steve Rogers wants nothing more than to fight those bully Nazis. He hates bullies. He says he hates bullies. Doesn't matter who they are. He doesn't like bullies. Yet every time he tries to join, they say, Hey kid, you are too scrawny. You are scrawny and unhealthy. Rejected. Well, well, he could just say, say, I give up. Man. I'll just go be a victim about it and drink my resentments away and talk about how they wouldn't let me in the war and I'm worthless, blah, 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 beat myself up. He doesn't even do this for an instant. His goal, he will achieve. He does not know how, but he's going to achieve it. He keeps on trying. He's the most determined person. He's going to do it. Doesn't matter. You get in his way, okay, but he's going to keep trying. Either till you kill him or he gets his goal. What can we learn from this? There are many ways to obtain your goals in life. It's about working hard, not smart. It's about the daily grinds. Having your goal, saying, how am I going to achieve this? What am I going to do to dedicate this activity to my goal? For example, you might not be able to afford to study abroad. It might be impossible. Your people around you say, you're not doing that. You need to do this and that, blah, blah, blah. In fact, you don't even speak the foreign language that you want to go study abroad. How is this possible? It's impossible, right? Nope, not really. Just start taking baby steps. Start maybe learning a language, taking classes for that language, doing it every day towards it. Even if it's five minutes a day, you do it. You write about it. You talk to people. Nowadays with the internet, you could watch videos. You could get into groups with people who are talking about that and how they did it and learn from them. And as you do this daily, it might take one year, two years, three years, four years. But as you do this, you're going to find anything you put regular work on and you have kind of a goal where you want to take it, a generalized goal and you get into the process of building it, it takes on a life of its own and it starts pointing and showing you what you need to do. Your new skills will allow you new opportunities that you never even knew you had. Level one version has to have more faith and just get into the process and not worry about level 20 version of you because that's a totally different thing. Captain, Captain America, America took, took what he wanted. wanted. He did not let others create his narrative. He created his own narrative for himself. You, you should, should do. do. Well, that's my take, guys. But as with all my advice, take what you want and leave the rest. Lord knows, I'm no expert. I'm just a guy. My overall opinion of this movie, The Bad. I remember when I first saw this movie back in the day, I was so impressed with the special effects. I mean, they made Steve Rogers, Chris Evans, the actor that super huge guy. They made him look all scrawny. They put his head on a scrawny body. I was so impressed by that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I had no clue how they did that. Move forward some 10 years later, the filming of this video in 2021, and there are times where it looks like a head pasted on a body and the sound dubbing sounds like crud. 
And then there are multiple times when I'm watching the movie where I'm like, that's green screen, him running from green screen. And then the plane's behind him in a movie. I just really could tell. And that's the problem with green screen CGI stuff. It seems like it can be affected so easily by lighting. So maybe when it's transferred from film to digital, something's lost. I mean, it's very hard to get that stuff right. It's really hard. Chroma keying is just like, meh. It's not that great. It's what we have, but it's not that great. That's why as time passes, it's really interesting to see how practical effects from the past that were just practical are actually hold up better because they still are what they are. They don't get worse based on time going on or the film getting different color or lighting changed or whatever. They kind of stay the same. And this movie did suffer from that. I had to be like, oh, that looks cheesy. But, you know, what are you going to do about that? No bad report, drill sergeant. The good. It's been a while since I've seen all the Marvel movies. So this story arc blew me away. It's so complex. It's like the root of these, of these, all these 23 other films, I believe there are, that connect and hit Steve Rogers and how he feels about stuff and his moral drive and his belief and his compass, how that affects later on the movies where I didn't even realize that's what was happening at the time. I was like, oh my gosh, clues of the Tesseract, even clues of Thanos and the galaxy and a larger picture that you wouldn't, at this level, no one knew. No, everyone's clueless about it. So to see that now, I'm like, whoa, that's really cool. So it really makes me want to watch these again, start making some videos of them, and just discover with you guys where this goes, where are the clues, where are the details. It's really exciting. I'm very excited about that. So that was really cool. It was really amazing. I'm like, wow. Of course, with all the Avengers or Marvel movies, great acting. Shout out to Chris Evans. I can't imagine anyone else playing Captain America. Honestly, I couldn't see anyone playing Captain America besides him now at this point. He did such a good job. And I'm also... A sucker for creation story so that gives me extra points right away but even for creation story this movie is above average for creation story i love it and let's not forget the guy in 1917 the father bitter world war one guy the guy that also played in the matrix agent smith and the guy that played one of the high elves in the lord of the rings if you guys know his name put it down below he did an amazing job he's an amazing actor I was like geez crud man that's crazy he is an amazing actor Look guys, in summary, I love this movie from back in the day. I loved it then. I love it on the rewatch. The action's amazing. The fighting's cool. I love the stomp kicks that he does and shows that power. Boom! And they get knocked down. You're like, dude. Guys, I recommend this movie for sure if you're into Marvel movies. It's crazy to think that this is but one of 23 movies in this highest grossing franchise of all time. It made, according to Wikipedia, $22.5 billion of what's made so far. It's, so, it's crazy. This is why I'm giving Captain America, the first Avenger from 2011, a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Hey, yeah, boy.